In a matter of days, the cultural village will be opened and aside from elements of music, dance and Junkanoo centered around carnival, art will also be prominently featured. The Visual Arts Pavilion, as it's known, will be a space where the 30 artists that submitted 300 art pieces will showcase their work. Artist and sculptor Antonius Roberts is happy that artists were not left out during the Bahamas Junkanoo Carnival festivities as the focus is on showcasing Bahamian culture. Additionally, he says it provides another outlet for artists to showcase their work. The Arts Pavilion, actually, this component is, is specifically designed um, to include um, every artist, every individual who uh, aspire to be artists uh, or who have some talent. We, we sent out an open call to to these individuals over the age of 18, and we were very pleased that over 30 of them, not only from New Providence, but from a few of the family islands, actually responded to the call. The works currently being housed at the Hillside Studio will be featured in the pavilion once erected. Graphic artist Keisha Oliver said excitement is building. We have established a strong um, online presence through social media, and that's via Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we found it very important to establish this presence because a lot of the artists that are involved within this project are younger artists, and this is a space that they live on. They're online all the time. And we found that it actually has created a sort of hype about what's happening. It's kind of conjured up this level of excitement where they're like enthused about what's happening and what the possibilities can kind of bring for them.